Hi, everybody. Hello, Angela. Hello, Joyce. How are you doing? I'm doing good today. How are you? Well, this evening, it's evening now. <laughs> doing very well, thank God. You know, after we're in here in Louisiana, uh, moving past hurricanes, and I think hurricane season is over with sometimes in November. Oh. So I'd be so glad when we get through that. You know, I, I just want to take this opportunity to say that our hearts go out to everybody who are dealing with challenges during this time with the hurricanes in Louisiana, Texas, and Eastward, as well as the fires in the western part of our country. And then with the, you know, with the pandemic, I just want everyone to know that our hearts are with you. We are praying and we, you know, I hear I hear people say we're in this together, but truly I want parents, families to know that we really are in this yes. thing together. And this is something that we all are going through at some, you know, some aspect or another. And we just have to pray for, for each other. Right. But right. We are here tonight to talk about a new program that the National Black Home Educators has crafted. We've crafted a program called Parents as Teachers at Home. Yes. Whether you are homeschooling, like I've homeschooled 30 plus years, all of my children, I've homeschooled five children plus two more children. I've tutored children all throughout the years for more than 30 years. And, you know, I think about what some parents are going through with virtual learning and distance learning. So we created this, or we crafted this program, so to speak, called Parents as Teachers at Home. And the acronym that we came up with, Angela and myself, was PATH. Yes. And I remember an old saying, I can't, I think it's Robert Louis Stevenson, or is it Robert Frost? I'm not quite sure. But one of them said that there's a road less traveled by. And sometimes you have to take the road that a lot of people may not take. And you know, years and years ago when we were homeschooling, that was not a popular road. That was not a popular journey for people. But we are path and you know, the National Black Home Educators is here, myself and Angela and many other families that are out there. We are here to help you go through this path or go down this path or go up this path because really, Homeschooling for me was one of the, it was a gut wrenching decision, but it was one of the best decisions that my husband and I made for the good of our children, ourselves and our families. But I also think about parents who are not per se dedicated homeschooling, but they are distance learning and they are veteran learning. Uh, I'm sorry, virtual learning. And they are wondering how to, you know, do the laundry, do dinner, and then give a spelling test. You know, that's pretty challenging nowadays. But the National Black Home Educators, we are here for you. Parents as teachers at home, our path, we are here to, to support you and let you know that everything's going to be all right. You know, I think about the parents who've made this brave decision to homeschool or to be on the front lines of their children's education. I take my hat off to you. I say congratulations to you. You have made an awesome decision. The other day, my husband said something that was pretty interesting to me. He said, Joyce, we will live awesome. And so homeschooling gives us an opportunity to live in such an awesome way, our parent-directed education, our parent-monitoring education. But nevertheless, parents are at the front lines of their child's education. And Frederick Douglass said something that, that I love. He said, I'd rather build strong children. Now, the whole quote by Frederick Douglass is, I'd rather build strong children than repair broken adults. But we're just gonna focus on building strong children, strong parents, ultimately strong families. So we're here to talk about PATH, and I'm gonna do a little reading here for you. Uh, PATH, Parents as Teachers at Home, is 
a program designed to help parents rethink education to be the leaders of their child's education by improving the parent-child relationship for personal and academic achievement. All of my children are grown and I have grandchildren and great-grandchildren. So I see where homeschooling for me 30 some years ago was not just about academics. It was about the personal relationship. And if you have concentrated all of these years or in your beginning journey to homeschool and all you wanna concentrate on is the academics, then you're missing out on the relationship that you can have with your children now and ultimately when they become adults. That's super, super important because you don't wanna waste all that time or you don't wanna give rather. You don't want to give all of that time. Homeschooling your children, being superbly academic and miss out on the very reason of homeschooling, which is to have that super great relationship with your child when they become an adult. So PATH is NBHE's newest program and it will help parents to choose curriculum. It will help you understand how to schedule sessions as well as training with the G Suite for Education platform. We will come together and help you to know how to organize that and administrate that. PATH will also help you learn how to produce lessons and trade lessons with other parents using the Hangout and the Digital Classroom for Google. All of these training sessions will offer parents the knowledge that they can use to connect, network, and collaborate with other parents who are like-minded and who align with their vision for teaching their children. It's very important that you have that support and that you have people who align with you, who agree with you as it relates to you training your children. So as Ms. Angela Valentine and I share this presentation with you, we want you to type in your questions. We want you to share this with other families. And cause you know, there are other families who need to hear this information about, you know, how do I begin this journey? of homeschooling, uh, if you're a parent who, who's doing virtual lessons, you know, how do I schedule? How do I keep my child interested? How do I keep my child focused on their lessons? And if you're a veteran homeschooler, this is just gonna reinforce what you already know. So we're going to begin right now with um, a presentation that we want to offer you. And like I said, please feel free to type in your, um, please feel free to type in your comments because we wanna hear from you. We wanna know what we need to do to better ourselves so that we can serve you better. So if you see the, the first chart, it's PATH, P-A-T-H, Parents as Teachers at Home, the rise of children learning at home. Never before, never before have you seen so many children learning at home. As I said, whether you're homeschooling 100% or whether you're doing virtual or online schooling, never before have we seen children learning at home. So many children learning at home. We can go on to the next slide, Angela. I'm Joyce Burgess and I'm here to answer your questions. And a lot of the questions that I receive from families, um, how do I teach my child at home? How do I do that? We're gonna help you. We're gonna explore that question during these 12 uh, weeks of PATH. I should have explained that before. PATH will offer parents, we have a availability for 80 families, for 80 families we have availability for. And we have, you go to nbhe.net, www.nbhe.net, uh, type, you, you're gonna see the, the chart there, like what you're viewing here. And there's an application form that you should fill out and we are filling up quite fast. So I encourage you to run, 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 run to the website and fill up for those and, and sign up for those classes. You know, I said earlier that Frederick Douglass said that I'd rather build strong children than repair broken adults. And so that's what we wanna concentrate on. 
How do you build strong children? We're gonna answer those questions for you. Go on, Miss Angela. We also have quality educational supplements. You know, the National Black Home Educators, along with me, Joyce Burgess, from my years of experience of homeschooling five, uh, five children, tutoring numerous children, and 30 years of that, I've created quality educational supplements, supplements from all walks of, 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 of life, you know, like art, music, and poetry, and literature, uh, history, and science. You know, a lot of times as a homeschool mom, we're wondering, how do we teach all of the curriculum? How do we teach all of that? So what I ended up doing, I took small segments of most of the core subjects, as I said, like science and history and math, because I knew that there was something that my children needed to know from each of those subjects. And I pulled out what was important for them to know. And I put them in an educational supplemental form or an educational supplemental lesson. And if you go to www.joycemburgess.com, you will see those supplements. If you move on, Angela, I think we have an example. Oh, okay, here's my bio. You guys can read that. I'm Joyce Burgess. I'm a veteran homeschooling mom of 30 years. I have five children. I've been married to my high school sweetheart for 45 years. My husband and I started the National Black Home Educators uh, Organization, short for NBHE. We have been featured in Ebony, Essence, Jet, and the Crisis Magazine. And we were recently, Angela and I did a recent uh, interview with Christianity Today. I've had the pleasure of being on the Tom Jonah Morning Show. I've been interviewed by Roland Martin. I've been interviewed by Queen Latifah on BET Tonight. And it just goes on and on and on. Uh, some of the things that we've done over the 20 years that we've been an organization. You can go on, Miss Angela. And of course, we did the recent Christianity Today article. And if you look at the chart, you're going to see just some of the things that we said. Uh, I said, you know, with or without a pandemic, families need options. They also need more resources and a wider variety of homeschooling materials. You know, I think about more African-Americans who are homeschooling now, more African-Americans um, history, more African-American literature and poetry. You know, we, we, we've been hidden for quite a while. Our resources, who we are, our heroes, and our children, African-American children, need to know about their heroes. You know, I love Little House on the Prairie. Absolutely love Little House on the Prairie. But I also love stories about Addie, who was a slave child during, uh, during that time, of course, and how she and her family traveled north, and just the family togetherness and just the strengthening of the family. So, but African-Americans need to know, children need to know about their heroes, and everybody needs to know about each other's culture because we're, once again, we're all here together. You know, Caucasians, Filipinos, um, Latinos, Asians, African-Americans, we all need to know about each other's history, but more specifically speaking, our children need to know about their history so that they can be inspired to do good things. So here's a sample math lesson, and I'm not gonna go into that now, but it kind of gives a general synopsis of what mathematics is, why it's important for children to be mathematically intelligent, why it's important for children to understand that math applies to your everyday life. And then I have some math terms over here, like I'll give you a perfect example. In a subtraction problem, the top number is called a minuend. The second number is called a subtrahend. And the answer to a subtraction problem is the difference. Now, why is that important for children to know? First of all, it increases their vocabulary. And then when, when children do word problems, and the word problem may say, if the menu win is five and the subtrahend is two, what is the difference? Or if the difference is five and the subtrahend is two, then what's the menu win? So you understand how word problems, children need to understand terms. And so that's what this supplemental allows children to do. And it's definitely something that parents and children can do together. 
where to find more supplemental lessons. If you visit Joyce Burgess, excuse me, let me do that again. If you visit JoyceMBurgess.com, you will see where the other supplemental lessons are. And of course, you see my book is available. And it's just a simple guidebook uh, for parents to understand my journey because sometimes you wonder what led a person to, to make the choices that they've made. And in Teach Me How to Teach My Child, I was at lunch one day and one of my friends was interested in homeschooling her child. And she said, Joyce, would you teach me how to teach my child? And I just thought that was the perfect name for a book. And so that book is available. It's available at Amazon. If you click the image, you go directly to Amazon. And I encourage you to, um, to, to take a look at that book. It's available for you. Go on, Miss Angela. And I think right now um, I'm going to just turn it over to Angela Valentine, who is my wonderful, wonderful friend. I've known her for about three years now. She's a Google certified trainer and NBAG has just been blessed by what she has brought to the table to further our, um, our resources. And uh, I'm just gonna let Angela take it from here. Thank you for coming on. Thank you, Joyce. Wow, we got a lot of good information that you just shared with us there. So uh, I'm delighted to be um, a part of this PATH program. And what I bring to the table is, the, mo most of you that know me um, know that I am a Google certified trainer and know that I am passionate about technology. I'm passionate about teaching our children. So, um, and adults as well. Anyone that wants to know anything about technology, you know, I'm gonna find a way <laughs> for us to learn together. Uh, but for this particular project, I am concerned about the parents learning the technology as well as the children. So my part that I bring to this is the digital literacy and skill building component. Um, and I don't have to introduce myself. I've got a link here. If you, uh, we will share these charts after the presentation and you can go and find out more information about me. But um, know that I've been a trainer for a long time, certified, um, teach at the local community college here and some other things that I've done, many certifications um, in technology. And I love to do what I do. Um, one of the reasons I'm so passionate about this project is because there is an urgent need. And that need is based on the digital divide. And if you've never heard of the digital divide, then I encourage you to go to Google and look it up. And it's just about um, our kids today in school having access to technology, not just the uh, hardware and software, but also having access to learning through technology and what are they learning in technology you know the kids have some of them have the ipads they have the one-to-one -one, um, chromebooks they have all of this technology in their hands as well as the teachers but how are we using that effectively to reach the technology goals so that once they graduate they are effective um, and well-versed citizens in technology and it's not my personal philosophy is that i believe that we need to take we meaning parents um, mentors, um, anyone that is a part of a child's education, we need to take the necessary measures to make sure we and our future generations get the best training when it comes to technology. We can't wait for someone else to decide if and when we will learn the essential technical life skills we need to succeed in today's world. That's just a, a personal statement. Um, based on a personal testimony um, regarding me taking control over what my, I have a son, he's 11 years old now, but me taking control over what he learns and when he learns it. That's not anyone else's responsibility but mine, and I take it personal. So I make sure that I try to get in front of him the things that I feel that he's ready to learn and that he needs to learn, whether or not the school system provides it or not. Okay, so with Joyce and I working together, especially on this PATH project, we are integrating um, traditional learning along with technology. And on this particular site that we have with MBHE and G Suite for Education, she brings the, the MBHE content and I bring the G Suite content. And we marry those two together. So you have that traditional learning 
you have the curriculum and it's embedded, it's layered on top of G Suite for Education. This is the exact same tools that are used in the public school systems where anyone that has G Suite for Education as a part of their public or charter or private school, wherever they're doing the one-to-one -one Chromebooks, the same technology they use is the same technology we use in this PATH program and with other projects with, uh, within NBAG. So we're glad to, to make that connection with each other. Joyce has curriculum as well as I have curriculum, especially being a Google certified trainer, uh, Google for Education cert certified trainer as well. Um, there are a lot of education tools that Google gives us for free. And we as trainers are responsible for making sure that information and those tools and resources get in front of the parents and teachers that need them. So I have a plethora of digital literacy and coding curriculum. If you are a part of this parents as teachers, as Teachers at Home program, the PATH program that we're launching here, then you will get a um, ebook that has links to this curriculum and examples to this curriculum. So that's one of the bonuses that you will get um, for being a part of this program. It's a free resource to you. Um, also, if you take a look at these slides offline, I've got a link to some projects that my son and I have done with some other kids. Um, and you'll get to see live examples of the content that we use. Now, our classes will be uh, based on the digital basics and using Google for Education apps. I think it's important, especially this is prime time and a prime example of why kids need to, to know this. They need to know how to maneuver through Google Classroom because that's where the teachers are putting the assignments and the links and they have to go to Google Drive, they have to open Google Docs and write the reports, they have to fill out a quiz on Google Forms, the list goes on and on. So we make sure that these Google for Education apps are included as a core base of our curriculum. I'll also do some coding 101 and getting ready and to just introduce them to what is um, a new Google certification for kids. 13 and above. Um, I don't think a lot of parents know about this certification because it's something that's fairly new. And I don't know anywhere else that they really promote it or broadcast it. But this is one of the perks of working with Joyce and myself is that we help your kids get prepared. Even if they want to, don't want to take the, the exam when they're 13 or older, they'll have the foundation. So if they do decide to take it at some point in the future, they're, they have the foundational base for that. So that's something we also build in that we think is a bonus. And it's my goal um, because I just see children, I hear parents talking about how, um, what they can do to keep their children engaged and keep the light for learning in their eyes. So I, when I'm talking about technology, which can be an intimidating subject in and of itself, we seek to make tech an adventure. And throughout the past summers and um, some of the other events that I've seen posted by Apple, by Google, um, by other companies, if I see an opportunity and we have a chance to participate, I'm grabbing my son and we're going and we're doing it. And he loves it. He shines in the classes. He gets to work with other kids and all nationalities and all over the city. And it's just a really fun thing to do. Another thing we did, as you'll see here in the corner, is um, the doodle for Google contest. I like to try to grab a group of kids each year and let them participate in this contest sponsored by Google so that their little drawing, if they win, is sponsored on the Google search page. And in addition to that, they get $50,000 awarded to their school for their technology program. And I think $20,000 awarded to the student um, toward their scholarship for college. So it's a fun, they get to go to Google and have a whole big day of it. It's a really fun program and it's free to enter. So I like to see our kids participate in um, things like that. So that's just some of the fun ways we do uh, technology. Now, also you'll hear, uh, I always talk about the four C's. So I make sure that we embed the top skills into our curriculum as well. Digital skills, collaboration skills, communication skills, um, creativity, um, the list goes on critical thinking. We make sure all of that is embedded in our curriculum. So we've got all the bases covered. We have a couple of other resources. Um, Joyce has a supplement as well as I have the 12 um, best or our favorite uh, apps, technology apps for kids that you'll get 
for being a part of this um, PATH program. So there's so many things that we have to offer and so many things that we want to bring to your attention. And uh, we want this to be a beneficial program for you and your children. So Joyce, I'm gonna bring you back on the screen and we'll just kind of scrunch up here together. <laughs> I know it's kind of hard, so let me let me read the questions and we can kind of address them together. But we got a, uh, a page of like FAQs here that parents may ask as we're talking about this program. So let me just, just cover a few of them and we can uh, kind of answer these together, Joyce, if you don't mind. So we've sure. already talked about question number one. What right. is the path program? Who is it for? How long is it? Et cetera. Um, and in addition, if you have any additional questions after our presentation, please put them in the comments and we will definitely respond. If there's something that you didn't get or we didn't make clear, just ask us in the comments to this broadcast and we will make sure we, we address that. And how will we meet? On what platforms and what times? Um, just like we're meeting here today, live broadcast, where you know that we'll come on each week. Um, we're targeting Wednesdays and we're targeting yes. about 5 p.m. And we'll see how that works for the next um, few weeks. And uh, if that's a good time for parents to get on and connect, we want your feedback. We may have to move a session to Saturday if, if needed, or we want to make it as convenient for you as possible because you know that we have the school in the day and the parents are teaching and, and there are a lot of different things going on in the daytime, but we're trying not to interfere with dinner time, but just kind of squeeze it in the middle there and give you some real live time. And the lessons will be less than 45 minutes. Yes. yes. And some of you have already signed up. So you will be getting email notifications on what we're talking about and answering these questions. What is PATH? When will we meet? And the time and you know so far the proposed date so you will those of you and i just want to say thank you for to those of you who have signed up already you guys for johnny yeah. on the spot you got on this very quickly and i don't blame you at all so we will reach out to you um, with a notification an email notification to let you know when we will meet what time and the day we'll be doing that probably by the end of the week very good. And Joyce, do you also want to address the ages? What age levels are we targeting for this? Parents of what age levels? Parents of what age levels? What, you, what do you mean? Parents of what ages? You're talking about parents in their ages or children in their ages? Child, parents of children of what ages? Did I say that correct? Yeah. <laughs> Gotcha. 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 <laughs> um, parents with children. I would, say, I would say early elementary, like say for instance, if you have a third grader, mm -hmm. you know, the supplements I know will parents can adjust that. And I would train parents and show parents how to adjust those supplements for any age group. But we were probably started, I would say it maybe as early as seven years old. Okay. and go all the way up to high school because with with joyce Burgess supplements you can do that and i will be training parents on how to take the music supplement for a six-year-old all the way up to, to 17. okay yeah so just pretty much all ages it just all depends on how the the parent uh, disciplines the subject for the child because that's one of the beauties of homeschooling is being able to personalize and customize lessons for the specific needs of the children. And, you know, because one size does not fit all, no matter what no one says. And in your family, moms, one, just because you may have more than one child, it may not, what's good for one child may not be good for the next child. So we have to customize learning for our children. Very good. Okay, and what level of par parent commitment or parental commitment are you are we requiring in this program? How involved do we want the parents or what will be the commitment that the parent will have to make to this program? Well, this program is definitely for parents, moms, dads, and we're asking you to commit to your children to dedicate the time allowed so that you can learn what how you can be an amazing teacher to your child. 
we're asking you for 45 minutes once a week. This is a 12 minute, 12 week course, three months, and we're only able to take 80 families. So we're asking those 80 families who first come, first serve, we're asking you for 45 minutes of your time to commit to your children. And you know, this is so beautiful because we're laying the groundwork for the future. Yes. So you're committing 45 minutes to the next 45 years, so to speak. Mm -hmm. You're committing 45 minutes to see your child graduate from high school. You're committing, uh, or if that's what you want, or to go to college, or to start their own business. You're committing 45 minutes and you're being dedicated to those 45 minutes so that you can be the best that you can be for your children. And, and there's so much more, so much more bonus information you're going to learn in these 45 minute sessions. I'm definitely going to talk about how to find time for yourself as a mom, because mm -hmm. I, if, if I had not found time for myself over the 30 years I homeschooled, I probably would not be able to be here now talking to you, but I had to find quiet time or daily devotions or daily inspirational moments. And, and I was very, very persistent in that. I took the two hours a day, that I require. And then we want to probably talk about the husband and wife relationship or, you know, when you're homeschooling, sometimes the husband may feel like, oh, well, you're spending more time with the kids or, you know, what am I to do other than make the money? Am I just a money man? <laughs> <laughs> okay. You know, you have to involve him or sometimes, you know, I've seen the husband take the lead on the education and while the wife is working. Mm -hmm. All the grandparents. So this is a family thing. Homeschooling is a family thing. So, you know, you think about what you're committing to the 45 minutes of um, listening and learning is the 45 minutes that you're giving to yourself and to your family. So I, we're looking for full commitment. Awesome. 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 Any particular goals or outcomes? Will this program um, teach parents um, how to teach their children. That's the goal and the outcome. Anything else you want to say about that? Um, one of the things parents will know, they will be, they will feel confident in teaching their children. Their children will come away knowing a little bit about everything. You know, sometimes I, I know one of my fears when I was teaching my children was, or I'm, I'm really going to hold them back. Am I teaching them everything they need to know? Or am I not capable or not qualified to teach them everything? You know, will they be shortchanged? And you're going to come away from these sessions feeling like I will give them the what it what it takes to teach them how to think for themselves. Mm -hmm. And your children will come away with, from these lessons, from these sessions, they will come away knowing mm -hmm. how to think for themselves. A lot of times children don't, don't know how to think. They want the mom or the dad to do everything for them. Yes. I remember when one of my kids was young, she wanted to know, well, mommy, what do I wear? You know, you put clothes in a drawer or you, they lay clothes out. And, you know, I was able to tell her, I'll tell you what, we're going out for the day. Why don't you take a feel on what, what the weather feels like? And then you can determine what it is you need to wear. I mean, she was eight years old, so I didn't have to tell her necessarily what to wear. So children will come away how to think, knowing how to think. because And parents, you will come away confident, with confidence that you are only a guide. Your children will come away from our sessions you will come away from our sessions and you will be able to instill in your children that education is their work. Take the pressure off of you. Because a lot of times, mom, and, 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 and I know how it is, you put the pressure on yourself for all of those children. I had five children. And so here I am, all this pressure. And then for all the subjects that we had to teach, all this pressure. Are they learning what they need to learn in history? English, math, especially math. Oh, Lord, don't talk about science. Don't talk about chemistry. So, moms, we were wearing all this pressure. But you will come away knowing that you are a guide. You lead them into learning. You lead them into learning. You will learn about discipline. You know, what it takes to discipline your child. Um, I don't mean to tell parents how to do that, but 
I will give you some suggestions or some offerings on how to get the best out of your children, you know, without having to pull your hair out because you feel, and then socialization, you will come away knowing that as a parent, you are qualified to teach your children. And of course, other outcomes that we will talk about during our sessions. What do you think? What, what are some of the things that you think digitally they will come away with? Oh, I think that they will have a very good foundation as to where to start learning and talking about technology. So if you just kind of know where the resources are and, you know, it's such a vast subject that is like, oh, what, yeah, what do I teach my kid and on what level, et cetera. So we'll get the foundation of where to start. And then from there, you can see if your kid needs a, a higher level or, and if they do need, you know, deeper subjects, you know, you can progress them through the ranks. So, but if you know where to start, you can take it from there. So that's my goal is to make sure everyone, the parents know how to start the technology learning with their kids mm -hmm. on regardless to what level it is. And you know, what I'm asking parents to do is to open your mind. You know, what we're sharing, what we're going to be sharing with you is not the all and be all. You know, I'm sure there are many, many people out there with many, many ideas that you will probably love. But we know that for such a time as this, we have been called to share with you our experiences and not just us, but other parents' experiences as well, because we're going to offer to you other parents that will come on and share with you how they've been successful at homeschooling or teaching their children. So it's not just going to be Angela and myself. It will be other parents that will share their expertise with you as well. And I believe that you're going to find that you have, you're, you're involved in a community, that you're involved in a tribe of people, a cavalry of people who think just like you for building strong children, ultimately building strong parents, and then building a strong family, which is very important. How would you like it all these years you've been homeschooling your children, but yet and still when, when your children become adults, you don't have a relationship with them? That's kind of sad. I mean, you didn't spend all your time teaching them, you know, um, eating a Big Mac when you probably want a steak, you know, sacrificing, you know, the time that you want to go and buy a dress, but then you have to go buy um, curriculum. And you know, don't get me wrong; those are my those are uh, uh, good sacrifices. Because I can't think of anything I would rather would would have rather done. But yet, and still, the end goal is to have a relationship with your children, and for your children to have a relationship with each other. That's the end goal. So this is very raw. This is very authentic and organic here. But we just want to be real with you. You know, this is this is life. Now, do we see any comments out there? Or are, are we done? I was just checking the page. Uh, we have a few likes. And I also put in the post, I put for more information or to sign up for this program, go to nbhe.net. So what are the next Good. steps at, for you as a parent? go to nbhe.net. You can scroll down the page. You'll see the button for parents as teachers at home. Click it to register and you will hear from us from there. Join us online and we'll give you the information hot off the press and we can take it from there. And hopefully this will be a Absolutely. wonderful 12 weeks of education for parents. Yes, I'm looking forward to meeting everybody. You know, I've met a lot of people since I've been homeschooling. And now that we are, you know, engaging more families uh, that have chosen to be the leaders of their children's education, to be on the front lines of their children's yes. education, you know, you guys are taking it back. These are mm. your kids. And so you're on the front lines of your child's education. And I'm looking forward, so forward to meeting you and spending this time with you and getting to know you, getting to know you and getting to know about your family. So please feel free to share, to talk with us because um, I'm sure you can teach us a whole lot as well. Absolutely. It takes a village, doesn't it, Joyce? <laughs> it sure does. I have, 
<laughs> I had my mama, my daddy, my yes. sister, my brother, yes. you know, Eric's parents, you know, we had the church, you yes. know, we had all of that, the support group. Mm -hmm. I cannot take the full credit on my children being successful because, you know, I'm just so grateful for what homeschooling did for me and for my children. You know, I like to tell people, and it's true, that I think homeschooling was more for Joyce Burgess wow. than it was for my children. I've learned to be more patient. Mm -hmm. I've learned to be disciplined. I've learned to not give a doggone what anybody think. <laughs> and you know how that is, you know That's how it is process. sometimes <laughs> with, with women. You know, it's like my um, people would tell me what Joyce you know, your children turned out good. <laughs> and I'm, you know, sometimes it's like, I don't even know how to answer that. Right, right. You thank know, you. I, I mean, say thank you. <laughs> yeah, you know, I, I'll smile and I'll yes. say, well, thank you. <laughs> but, you know, it's like I didn't need their approval or their exactly. disapproval. Finally, I mean, I had to learn that because, you know, when you homeschooling your children or when you're on the front lines of their education, you know, their character, their development, their morals, you know, sharing your traditional family, your traditions, what you think is important with your children. You think it's, it's challenging. People told me, well, you were sheltering your sons or you're sheltering your daughters. And I thank God for that because I'm the mother, you know, I do what I want with my kids when they were in my house. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> Before I get on talking about being a mother, you know, I, I think we're probably if we're coming to an end here. But I just once again, thank you guys for listening and God bless you in your yes. new path. Thank you, Joyce. Yes, ma'am. <laughs>